What's up everyone? I'm here in Times Square and I'm going to be eating at Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. Now being that this is a place in Times Square, I'm curious to know if this is a tourist trap or not. I mean, Gordon Ramsay is a Michelin star chef, should know about food, right? I mean, uh, let's go and check it out. I mean, looks pretty cool. You can't get a more British dish than fish and chips. It's actually located just off of the side here on 44th Street. Gordon Ramsay is known for many different restaurant chains, but this one is a fast casual restaurant. The prices here seem pretty reasonable. I don't think you can get a more British place than Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. I mean, you got the UK flag everywhere and it smells good in here. Kitchen looks really clean. Yes, 52. This is the Gordon's combo, which includes fish, chicken, and shrimp for $18.99. I also got an extra serving of fish for $5.99 extra. It also came with two sauces, which you can select. I picked Gordon's tartar sauce, which is on the right, and the sriracha aioli sauce on the left. I like how they impale the lemon here on top of the dish, and you got some nice chips there. All right, this looks pretty good, but first, let's try their crafted lemonade, which was $5.99. Kind of pricey for a lemonade, the soda here is $3.99, but... Ooh. This is actually pretty good. It's got a tang and sweetness to it that... Um, doesn't exactly come from lemons like directly like I don't know what they added in this but it's very pleasant like nice strong aftertaste mm. very good now um, let's see here I think this is the fish uh, this is a piece of chicken and we got some shrimp here <laughs> So we can get a sample of all of these. Let's try a piece of fish. It's got a nice uh, flaky texture on the outside. I can see it's very well done. Let's see. Mmm. This is pretty good. Wow, I can taste that strong beer batter flavor. The skin is nice and crispy. Inside, nice white pieces of fish. Namesake lives up to the name. The fish is amazing. Now, um, let's give it a try with these sauces. Let's try the sriracha aioli sauce. Mmm. Wow. Creamy, a little bit um, spicy, but not overwhelming. Very good sauce here. Let's see if Gordon Ramsay knows how to make a good tartar sauce now. Is this going to be any good? Okay, Gordon's tartar sauce. 
smooth. Strong, tart flavor. Um, it's creamy. I can see it has a little bit of the pickles in there. It's so good. So far, I don't think this place is a tourist trap, folks. I mean, granted, $23 and change for this. It is a little bit pricey, but the food here is good so far. Mm. It's down that piece of fish. <laughs> <laughs> now let's try a french fry, oops, chips in the UK. They say it's made uh, with a little bit of natural sea salt. Mm. I think these are hand cut fries too. I feel them. Slightly fried. <coughs> Yeah. Slightly fried, put an amount of sea salt on it. It's really good. Mm. Nice fries too. If you just come here for the fish and chips, it's great. Now, let's try the Gordon Ramsay's other items, the chicken and the shrimp. It's a big piece of chicken. Mmm. Super crunchy exterior. Inside is very soft. Very, very good fried chicken. Also beer batter to perfection. It's a good place. Shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. Also crunchy exterior, but I have to say the shrimp is actually my least favorite. Um, I feel the inside of it is a little bit saltier than the chicken or the fish. But it's still a good dish. But for that to be the only thing I complain about in Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips, I can't really complain much. I mean, one thing I do have to add as well is that seating here can be difficult to get because uh, we're coming out of prime time and all the seats were full, so there's a little bit of a wait. But yeah, definitely Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. Check it out here while you're in New York City and Times Square. Definitely not a tourist trap. Gordon Ramsay gets my approval. Two thumbs up for me.